Hey guys, and welcome to uh, my impressions of uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. As you guys know, uh, I've played Ghost Recon Classic. I still do to this day. And uh, along with other tactical shooters, it really opened up the the my experience with uh, just having a love for tactical realism. So one thing off the bat I want to explain is um, there are such things as tactical shooters. And I'll, I'll kind of just explain that definition. Number one, a tactical shooter is uh, any first person, third person shooter which needs tactics. And uh, just, you know, that could be anything from even Call of Duty, right? Uh, Call of Duty tactics might be to just run into a room and, and uh, 360 no scope somebody, right? Or from far away, I don't know. Uh, and then there's, um, I'm just defining a something like Arma or something like. Um, uh, Nova Logic's Delta Force or uh, Tom Clancy's the original Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six. Those are realistic tactical shooters. All right, and there's a big difference there. Uh, you can have a tactical shooter and use tactics, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily realistic. And it's it's what the game developer's vision is. All right, is it to create a realistic title or is it to just create a shooter with maybe some tactical elements in it. And Ghost Recon Wildlands definitely fits in the uh, just tactical shooter genre. If you look at, I put a quote from one of the lead developers of Wildlands and he specifically states that you know their vision was not to create quote a simulation. Alright so if we're looking for that in our uh, community then that's not something that you're going to get with Wildlands. All right, so I'll talk about what it is and what it's not. Um, if your expectations are that this is going to be some Ghost Recon, you know, Arma, you know, Milsim type of hybrid, then it's just not not what it is at all. All right. What I will say, however, it, it, and first off, it, if you guys have been wanting to know my opinion about you know how this compares to the original Ghost Recon. There are certain elements in it that remind me of Ghost Recon, but it's definitely, this is a lot closer to, you know, something like Far Cry, Splinter Cell, and maybe um, something like uh, a little bit of Arma 3 in there. Uh, I shouldn't say a little bit. Actually, a lot of it uh, reminds me of Arma 3 and, and the... Weapon customization, e even though you don't have Gunsmith and Arma 3. So just bottom line, I mean, this is not, uh, it's definitely not a uh, Milsim title, but it is very immersive. It's a lot of fun, and it's uh, pretty addictive as far as the storyline. You, you know, you definitely want to know what happens next. And, um, you know, all in all, y it is fun. Um, I don't see this holding my attention for many, many years, like Ghost Recon or Rainbow Six, uh, but it is something that you can play through, I believe. And, and you know, I, honestly, right now, I don't think that I will be purchasing uh, Wildlands because I just, it's not uh, my style or necessarily my cup of tea, but uh, it might be yours, and, and a lot of people out there, they'll probably like this, and maybe this is the most tactical, you know, game that they'll ever play, and, and um, you know, guys that are, are growing up right now uh, playing these titles, you know, they might remember this as being the standard of what a tactical shooter is. I, you know, I don't know. Well, it seems like the industry is certainly headed in that direction. Uh, I don't think I'll, I'll be buying it just because it's not, it wasn't what I was looking for, but it is something that is a lot of fun. So those are my initial thoughts on this. Uh, I'll, I'm definitely going to continue playing Armor 3 and Ghost Recon Classic because I think they capture the essence of what a realistic tactical shooter is. Anyway, those are some early impressions. I'll continue to post some videos of the beta here. And, um, you know, my opinion might change, but uh, that's kind of what I'm, I'm feeling right now. I also had access to the uh, technical test, the early alpha, which I couldn't talk about. It was <laughs> completely under NDA. I couldn't show any videos or pictures. Couldn't even mention that I had access to it. But um, So I, I have a few hours uh, with the game. And uh, this is kind of a, a conclusion to to my experience with Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's definitely not a bad game. Uh, it certainly is a 
a uh, more casual style of gameplay. Uh, the open world and the freedom that you have in this are really what make this game as well as the co-op. Uh, the, the friendly AI are not anything to behold by any means, but when you play this co-op it, it's definitely a lot more fun, a lot more immersive. You can see I'm playing with no HUD or anything like that, no markers. I did include the mini-map eventually because I couldn't... Uh, it's hard to navigate, it's hard to see the objectives but it's a lot more immersive with nothing on your screen. Uh, if you want to cross around there, completely understandable because it is a third person shooter, but um, it, it just keeps your eyes on the environment. You really get to soak in the beauty of uh, of Bolivia that they've created. It's, it's absolutely uh, beautiful. The graphics aren't amazing in, in the sense of um, the way the game looks. Um, it really is, it, it is an kind of, it, it reminds me of uh, titles that are a few years old I'm not run I'm running it on low settings even if you run it on high settings I don't think it looks spectacular but the open world you can see the city in the distance there the lighting uh it, it's pretty uh, immersive and and it's really cool you, and honestly you guys know I don't really care too much about graphics I still play Ghost Recon Classic for a reason it's because of the gameplay the content the realism of it uh not so much about what it looks like all in all you know if you get a chance to check this out or or if um you know the, you've watched the reviews and, and you've seen the gameplay videos you know um, I would certainly recommend it from a you know fun open world and uh, play with your friends type of standpoint but from a mil sim point of view it's uh, definitely not that that's not what it is uh, by any means all right hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll, I'll continue to post a few more videos hopefully of the beta thanks thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time